So today we're going to learn how to add profile press uh, plugin to your site and create a custom registration password reset for builder for WordPress. Now to install a profile press is as simple as installing any other WordPress plugin. Now you come to the add plugin section and then you type profile press and then you have profile press uh, displayed for you so that you can go ahead and install. This is the one. We want to install this one created by Collins and then we click on install. That's the process. You simply click on in the install now button and uh, WordPress will download um, provide press from the server and then we'll install it on your site. The process is quite easy to follow. Okay, now profile press has been installed. So what I will do now is that I will activate the plugin. So once I once the pro uh, the plugin is activated, remember we you need another plugin to actually work together with this software. You need a plugin called a uh, uh, short kick, uh, short code UI. So I will ask the pro uh, the pl uh, profile press is requiring requires the following plugin short kick, and so the, you just simply click on begin installing plugin. So it will start installing plugin immediately. Okay, here is Shotkick. I'll click install. Now remember, when you install Shotkick on the site, remember to activate that plugin. So the process is uh, quite uh, easy. It's and WordPress is downloading from the package. Uh, from wordpress.org and so once it's finished downloading the the plugin it will automatically install on our site okay it has been successfully and uh, successfully installed okay so well I'll just be I'll return to um, to dash uh, to dashboard. Now, if you notice, it's giving me a particular message here. User registration currently dis disabled. This is a fresh uh, user registration currently disabled. So, uh, since I'm I'm, I'm installing uh, Provide Press, which requires people to register to this site, but I didn't activate the registration capability to this site. So it is notifying me that if I want this site to be a membership site where anyone can register on it, then I have to first of all go to settings and then activate the registration option. So please make sure you do that because you will find out that if you don't activate the registration uh, registration capability on your WordPress site, Web, uh, Provide Press will not work because it allows you it, it's, it's used as a custom you can you can use as a custom registration page so i'll come to this part here come to settings and then i'll click on general so the general option will now give me the ability to activate the anyone can register option in the wordpress setting so here is it let me bring it up so that you can see okay so here is it anyone can register so i'll simply click on save changes so the changes are actually uh saved and then profile press if i come to plugins and if you look at the plugins you will see that uh profile press uh, has been stored or just just take a look let me just show you here look at open pro profile presses here now it has some settings that you can follow look at the settings options let's go through the settings and let me show you something now these are the basic settings that you need 
to work. And the good thing about Provide Press is that you, it works out of the box. That means that you can use it without actually making any change on it. If uh, it's comfortable with you, you can actually use it without making any any change on it at all. So you can use it. And so what you have here is that you have the option, you have settings, the login, registration, password reset, and then form themes. Now, this is these are default uh, URLs that he's going to um, create for you. What I have here is that it's going to create these uh, options for you. It's going to create them if you want to install and um, press this can uh, create this. Do you want them to install um, this global setting? Do you want to install a reset page? Do you want it to create a reset page? Or do you want to create these pages yourself? Now, if you want to create a, a separate research page, this is where you uh, allow it. You can also choose, you can select a page that you wanted to uh, to create uh, for you. Okay, and then you have the login page. It's going to create these pages by default, the registration page. And um, if, if you remove, if I remove uh, this plugin, should you remove every data? I like clicking that, yes, okay. So now you have a um, logout redirection. If I log out from a site, do I want it to be redirected to a particular page? For example, you may create a page, say thank you for uh, signing up and you thank you for spending time with us, come again. If you want to create a page like that, you can create a page where anytime you log out of your, out of your WordPress site, it redirects you to a particular page. Now, also there's a place whereby you can select a login option. If I log into WordPress, where should it take me to? This is where. So these are default. Uh, that means that it, it, it follows the normal process of uh, WordPress. When it logs out, it just stays at, at the login page where it was, where you logged up. And then, then you have the login. If I log in, where should you take me to? And it should take me to the WordPress dashboard or should check me to any of the pages that I have created. You can create a page. So if somebody logs into your, your, your membership site, he goes to a particular page, let's say a welcome page or a set of rules, a page whereby it gives them what they should expect out of that site. So once you have done all that, all I have to do now is to, you have the login page with your login options, the registration options. If there are any things to check, these are the, the short codes that you're going to implement. So. But for now, the first thing I want us to do here is to simply save the action. Because if I save this action, these pages will be automatically created for me. Sorry, I think I did I do that. So when I save them, okay. Now you have um, to you have if you want to implement these pages on your site. Uh, if you want to implement any and uh, the login page anywhere on your site, uh, let's take a look at the pages that have been created. If you want to create them mm -hmm. here, there. So, if you want to create, let's uh, view it. Take a look and let's view it. We want. So the simple, the simple thing is that uh, it's quite easy to create uh, to create these pages on your it's quite easy to work with um, uh, profile press on your site so look at the login page this is it so you no longer you don't have to go to the back end so if you are looking for some security features you can simply uh, lock off the back end so people will log in if you want to log into your site they log in right at the front and then there's something else before we leave there's something else which i want to i want to show you um, that is how to implement and uh, this uh, to implement your profile um, press forms okay let's say I want to create I want to simply click uh, create a, a page of, let me say a registration page and uh, I want to create a page apart from that one maybe put it up somewhere so you have certain themes there are themes that comes with a uh, pro uh, profile press see the version of profile press that I'm using quite now I'm using now is the light version that means it's the free version so Look at this. This is uh, this other page. So let's go, let me just go here and then open the sample page and then show you something. And if you if I come here and then I open this up, let me say I'm going to edit this page. Okay, okay. Let's edit this sample page. 
Okay. Here's it. This is this. And then I just highlight everything here and then delete. I have an empty page and I'll come back here. So I'm going to pick this theme. I wanted to look at the themes and the, the, the different looks of how this thing will look like uh, when it is actually edited, uh, when you paste it. So I'll come here and I then I paste. This is a short code. I'm using the uh, profile, pre, uh, profile press registration ID one. This is the short code for it. So when I update, I'll show you how this one will look like. Okay, then let's view. Let's view the page. This is how the registration, the registration page looks like. This is a theme, and the shape. So you don't need to know how to use. Uh, you don't know how to, to to code. You don't know how to use PHP, uh, CSS. Uh, but if you know, if you have knowledge of that, is there an advantage? But for profile profile press, all you have to do there is to install the plugin and then copy the registration uh, uh, codes for different themes. Look at form themes. If you go to profile press, you have different, different assorted themes that you can use. So, but there are themes that are free and there are other ones that you require to pay the money before you can actually use it. You have to upgrade. So, but the registration, the upgrade uh, price also is not that, uh, no. The page is loading. Sorry, my internet connection is uh, quite uh, uh, slow. So, but this is the, this is this is profile press side. So you have different options to look at. Look at your look at different different themes. Even if you want to use things like you want to use, so you try have a twenty percent discount on profile press if you want it. So these are for the these these themes are meant for pro versions. Um, these are meant for pro version. If you want to use the pro version, if you want to, if you're using the this one and the uh, perfect resolution form is used for pro version, and then um, let's just let me just bring up this one so that you can take a look at it. So you have we have many samples. In fact, when you're working with uh, you have many samples. So one all you have to do is just if you need a particular design, if you need a particular design, you just simply select the particular. Uh, short code that is meant for it then you copy it to the page that you want it displayed and then you paste and then you update that page that information to the database and automatically profile press will be displayed on your your your, your site so I wanted to so that is it all you have to do there is to come in you go to your site you come to see come to settings set up the basic things that you want to set out and then you you choose if you don't need to do if you don't need any special page you can just simply click the settings it creates all the pages for you or you can simply uh, put a designated page by copying out the short code pasting in that particular place and when you do that you have a login page that is different from the one that is inbuilt with WordPress active by, by default I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on profile press so if you want please go on to wordpress.org download profile press and install on your site and let me know how it worked for you thank you very much